you can think of a traditional database like SQL as a giant spreadsheet. Data is organized in rows and columns with structured queries like find all customers with last name Smith. These databases are excellent for storing and retrieving facts. But they struggle when the query gets fuzzier, like find movies similar to Inception. Vector database truly shine when it comes to identifying similarities. Instead of rows and columns, data is represented as mathematical vectors, multidimensional arrays of numbers. These vectors capture the essence of the data object, whether it's an image, a piece of text, or even an abstract concept. Vector databases are emerging as critical tools offering unparalleled efficiency and accuracy in handling the vast complex datasets generated by generative AI models. A vector database is essentially a search engine optimized for these vector representations. Here is the workflow. You take your data such as text, documents, images, etc. and convert them into vectors using an embedding model. These vectors are stored in the database. And when you have a new item, for example, a user search query, you convert it into a vector. The database then efficiently searches for the vectors closest to your query vector, returning the most similar items. Now, to get data into this vector format, we use algorithms like word embeddings that transform text, images, or audio into dense vector representation. Similar items end up with the vectors that are close to each other in the vector space. Think of it as plotting points on a graph where the distance between points signify how similar the underlying items are. Vectors, especially when they have many dimensions, can be difficult to visualize directly. So a simplified three-dimensional space generally helps in understanding the fundamental vector concepts. So imagine you have three movies represented as vectors in a 3D space, movie A, B, and C. And each dimension in the 3D space could represent a different aspect of the movie. For example, x-axis represents the level of romance, y-axis the level of action, and the z-axis the level of humor. In this 3D space, movie A and movie B are closer together than either is to movie C. This visual distance corresponds to their similarity in genre and content. A vector database could use this information to recommend movie B to someone who enjoyed movie A. So if a user is looking for a romantic comedy, their query might be represented as vector like this. The vector database could then search for the movie vectors closest to this query vector and likely returning movie A and movie B as recommendations. It's important to remember that the 3D analogy here is a simplification. Real world vector representations often involve hundreds or thousands of dimensions, each capturing a nuanced aspect of the data. We can't really visualize these high dimensional spaces directly, but the core concepts of distance, similarity and querying still apply. So let's break down the core components that make vector databases tick. At the heart of it, vector databases store data as high dimensional vectors. These vectors are numerical representations of objects like text, images, or audio, capturing their semantic meanings or features. Vector databases typically use specialized file formats such as FAISS and HTF5, optimized for storing and retrieving these vectors efficiently. Vector indexing is the key to fast vector search. It involves organizing the stored vectors in a way that allows for quick retrieval of similar vectors. Vector databases use various indexing algorithms such as ANN or approximate nearest neighbor search. These algorithms focus on finding approximate neighbors quickly, sacrificing some accuracy for speed. Product quantization technique compresses vectors into smaller codes, making search faster but potentially less accurate. Distance metrics are mathematical functions used to measure the similarity between vectors. The choice of distance metric depends on the type of data and the desired notion of similarity. So for example, cosine similarity is often used for text and embeddings, measuring the angle between vectors. And Euclidean distance is common for numerical data, measuring the straight line distance between vectors. Query processing engine handles incoming queries translates them to vector operations and utilizes the index to efficiently retrieve relevant vectors. It may employ query planning, caching, and parallel processing techniques to speed up search and reduce resource consumption. Now, many vectors database allow you to store and filter results based on metadata associated with the vectors, such as tags, categories, or timestamps. Some databases combine vector search with traditional keyword-based search for more flexible querying. And for large-scale applications, 
Distributed vector databases enable scaling across multiple nodes for improved performance and fault tolerance. Now, by understanding these core components, you can choose the right vector database for your application and leverage its capabilities to unlock the power of similarity-based search and AI-driven insights. Vector databases are crucial in the evolution of generative AI primarily because they supercharge a technique called as RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. RAG acts as a bridge connecting the creative power of generative AI models like GPT-4 or Llama with the vast and up-to-date knowledge stored in external sources. This empowers AI to generate responses that are not only creative, but also informed and contextually relevant. But more on this inner workings of RAG in my next video.